Hello. It's been a while. I know. I've not made a video in a while because I'm lazy, okay? Fucking deal with it. A few months ago, I discovered a movie. Yes, another movie. And this movie is worse than the last one. So, so much worse that I had to make a video on it, okay? <sighs> this movie is called Lifelike. It's a movie about androids. I paid seven pounds for this movie on Amazon. I pay, I pay, I paid money for this movie. Because you wanna know why I paid money for this movie? There was no website. There was no sketchy website that was streaming the movie. I had to pay money for this movie because no website wanted anyone to watch this movie illegally. I paid money for this. That's why I'm making this video. Because I paid money for this, okay? Did I go into this movie thinking it was going to be good and so I paid money for it? No. I knew, I knew it was going to be bad. But I still bought it. I didn't even rent it. I bought it. It's a, it is in my inventory forever. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Let's start this whole shebang, okay? So, the movie starts with two characters called James and Sophie, and they're on their way to get, you know, their android. And as they're on their way to get their android, it cuts back to like three months later when they're in like the city and they're in like this ship apartment and they they the way that they transition to it being three months later they use the most basic ass aerial font that it's just, it's literally like <laughs> the automatic font that you write with it is lit they didn't even change the font it they would i could do better than that they just they put basic ass aerial font and that annoys me. It really does annoy me. Now, the acting in this movie is bad. I'm gonna say that. It is bad, but I'm not gonna show you how bad it is because I don't want you to suffer like I suffered, okay? <sighs> so, uh, James's parents dies and then they inherit a mansion. They were living in a shithole and now a mansion. We love the progression, I guess. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. They they did the three months like earlier thing with basic ass aerial font. Fine. Okay, but the way the way that they introduced the actual like uh title, the lifelike title of this movie, is with the same ass aerial font! This makes me mad. Really? They didn't, they didn't even try to spice it up a little. No flavor. No dimension. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you got the character Sophie, who has never lived this lifestyle before because she is poor, okay? And uh, of course, now that she lives in a mansion, there are people who work there to, you know, maintain, uh, you know, the house because it's so big, you know, understandable. And she's just, she's just a bitch. She's an utter bitch. Uh, like she, she tries, she tries to be nice to the worker, but she just comes off as very, very, you know, condescending. You know, the worker's like, I am very thankful for my job. And then Sophie is like, are you really there? Like, This is my job, and I, I'm very thankful for it. But are you? When you were a little girl, what did you want to be? I'm pretty sure it wasn't someone's housekeeper. Like, bitch, bitch, bitch has the fucking audacity to say that! What the fuck? <laughs> ah! I 
hate her. She, I, out of all the characters I hate most, it is her, okay? Her husband and the android that we get introduced later on are like, all right, actually, no, the husband's not all right. He does some pretty fucked up shit later in the movie that you'll find out about, okay? <laughs> anyway, so the worker says that she's thankful for her job. And you know what Sophie does? She fires her? Where is everyone? <clears throat> what? I fired them. <laughs> you what? Okay, since since Sophie has fired all the staff that works there, James has to do all the work himself and he doesn't like that because he already has a job and he doesn't have time to do everything and like his job, okay? Anyway, uh, so we get the scene of him like mowing the lawn with a lawn mower and there's a scene where he, James and Sophie just stare at each other and it's very awkward and it's just awkward, you know? Uh, <laughs> anyway, so because James couldn't, you know, use the lawn mower correctly, they go and buy an android to mow their lawn, I guess. Anyway, so we cut back to like the very beginning uh, scene of the movie where they go in to like buy the android and you know, they look at all the androids that are available and uh, Sophie is a little bit insecure because uh, all the female androids are prettier than her, uh, you know, which is true. Uh, so like, so Sophie's like, hey, can we, can we like get a male android? Cause like, I will feel less, insecure and James is like yeah okay I don't fucking care go on <laughs> anyway so the guy who was selling the androids looks like a priest for some reason uh <laughs> but he gets one of the androids called Henry and that's the android he gets uh Henry to come down and to show that Henry is obedient and submissive uh, he has Henry lip James's shoe, and the couple completely lose their fucking shit that he did that. <laughs> Henry, I want you to lick the bottom of James's shoe. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, James and Sophie, they get Henry, and Henry mows the lawn! <laughs> Yay! Anyway, so we move on to a later scene, and, um... Sophie is chilling in, just chilling in her clothes and Henry walks in and he sees boobies. <laughs> okay, so uh, after that, uh, Henry and James uh, decide to play a game of squash together and they have this really weird talk about religion and stuff and they have, like, they zoom in on their faces so close. It's so weird and so funny. I don't know why they did it. <laughs> So Sophie and Henry then have a talk. She asks if he can dream, he says no. And then Sophie gives Henry a book to read because why not, I guess. We then get the scene where uh, James and Sophie are chilling by the pool and Henry is like serving them as the serving boy he is. And uh, they have this really long and really weird discussion about lust. I feel like this movie is trying to like do some really like deep insightful shit, but it's just, it's not. <laughs> it's just weird. That's really what this movie is. It's just weird. 90% of this movie is just boring, but then 10% is, um, it's, it's kind of disturbing, if I'm being honest. Uh, so they have this weird talk about uh, <laughs> lust, and then Sophie's like, Henry, can you like feel lust? <laughs> Henry, can you feel lust? I believe I can emulate lust if you'd like me to. No. No, that won't be necessary, Henry. So we cut to nighttime and Henry, Henry's just chilling in the garden, naked. Oh, 
Okay, and Sophie, Sophie finds him outside there and is like, Henry, were you dreaming? Okay, first off, if, if you find your, like, android outside in the garden, naked, in a fetal position, wouldn't your first question be, like, I don't know, why the hell are you out here? Not, are you dreaming? Is that just me? Am I just insensitive? Anyway, so Henry, Henry says he was dreaming. <laughs> anyway, so because Henry was dreaming, which he's not supposed to do, they call the priest guy to come over. The priest guy is like, if he says he's dreaming, it's probably because someone in this household, like, you know, wants him to dream, which uh, Sophie does, okay? Um, anyway, so they get into like this big fight because, uh, Sophie wants him to act a little bit more human, and James doesn't. James is like, he's a machine, Sophie! He's a machine, Sophie. I'm a machine. Uh, we cut to the next scene, and uh, James is in the shower, and we can see his pee-pee. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> Okay, so he gets out the shower and Henry walks in. James asks uh, a question and then just fucking throws his towel off in the most, like, you know, violent way possible and just shows his fucking lightsaber. Are you uncomfortable? And then we have we have this really sensual scene of uh, Henry just shaving James, or James is just naked and just standing there. Just... <laughs> James says that Henry is a very special multi-purpose appliance, and let me just tell you something. He is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give any more information, but. So, uh, James just, James lights up some candles in the bedroom and he just, he just expects Sophie to have sex with him because he did that right on James's part. Sophie then has a sex dream about Henry. Yeah. It, this came out of left field, really. Um... She has a sex dream, she wakes up, James is like, why are you dreaming? And then uh, Sophie just straight up lies and is like, I think so? I don't know. I don't really remember what it was about. Mm. So Sophie opens her door. She's in like a guest bedroom. She's not in her main bedroom, don't know why, but she opens like a guest bedroom. Um, Opens the door, kind of just walks in, starts to undress and masturbate. But like, she opened the door to masturbate because she wanted Henry to watch her masturbate. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, but like this movie is meant to show James's and Sophie's relationship deteriorating so that Sophie wants to hang with uh, Henry and masturbate to him. But the thing, like, Sophie and James have gotten to, like, two fights in this movie. And I don't think two fights is worthy enough of masturbating so that your android could watch you masturbate. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. <laughs> so after Sophie uh, opens the door so that Henry can watch her masturbate, they then hang out in the pool and just chilling and hanging and James does not like that, okay? So he go he goes he goes to the priest's guy and he's like, yo, I think the android wants to fuck my wife. And then the priest is like, yo, if the android wants to fuck your wife, it's because your wife wants the android to fuck her. Okay, so obviously with this revelation, James is like, oh my god. James tells Henry to stop reading with Sophie and Sophie is furious at that idea. 
Anyway, so, you know, they have an argument. After the argument, Sophie just leaves the house for a couple of days. And of course, of course, with Sophie gone, the boys can just chill. You know what I mean? Henry, I need my shaver. What are you doing? So... Henry... Um... So yeah, Henry just walks in naked. But that's, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not the, that's not the weird thing about this movie. No, it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's what happened right after that. Um, they get, they, they get into a conversation and... I mean, was this unexpected? Yeah, very much. When I watched this movie for the very first time, I was shocked. I was very, very shocked because um, James was like, yo, wife, can you like not want to fuck the staff? And then when the wife leaves, James is like, F James fucks the staff. Anyway, so um, Sophie's back and James is now off to work and uh, James calls Sophie and is like, hey, we should like hang out more, you know, be like a real couple. And then Sophie just like hangs up the phone and is like, oh my God, he's trying too hard. Like a husband just wanting to like hang out with his wife is trying too hard. God, there is something wrong with Sophie. She... <laughs> There's something wrong with her, you know, like firing the fucking staff. Um. Anyway, so Henry then gives Sophie a massage and it's, you know, the exact same kind of scene from when she had a dream about him. Um, and he, he starts to like kiss her and then she's like, yes, baby, kiss me more. But then he does this thing where he mouths, I love you, just like, and Sophie freaks the fuck out uh, because that's something that James does. And then, you know, Sophie's like, oh my God, where the fuck did you learn how to do that? Ah. Uh. So yeah, he does the I love you thing and Sophie freaks the fuck out. And you want to know how she freaks the fuck out? She starts smoking because she is stressed, okay? Anyway, so Sophie then, um tells James that he kissed her and James gets really mad, the fucking hypocrite. And then we get the scene between James and Henry. What the fuck do you think you're doing kissing my wife? Her actions indicated that it would please her. But she didn't ask for it, did she? She all but begged for it. Henry, Henry, oh boy, you're fucking savage, mate. <laughs> James tells Henry to go back into his docking station and then he just fucking breaks it. <laughs> so he has to call the priest guy to come over to fix the station. Okay, so James has to leave and so Sophie is alone with Henry. Uh, so Henry and Sophie have this long and boring discussion but 
it ultimately ends with Henry insinuating that um, he and James had sex. So, you go, Henry. The priest tells Henry, get in your docking station. And Henry's like, nah, bit, I don't want to. Sophie then just decides to walk all the way around to uh, James's office to confront him about him having sex with Henry. I was jealous of him. So you made him suck your penis? Okay. <laughs> Were you attracted to him? No. No. Fuck, I don't know. In the moment, I feel like anybody could have been. Just, just say you're like men and move on, okay? James and Sophie then get a call, like an emergency call from Henry, like telling them like to come over and they freak out. They're like, oh my God. So they go back to the house. They find him just, they find him up to his usual antics of just standing naked in a garden. We love it when he does that. James tells Henry to like, go back to your docking station, mate. And Henry's like, nah, I think I'd rather just die. It's okay with my keepers. I'd prefer just to power down here and stop this painful emulation. Fair enough, Henry, honestly. James and Sophie then go to the android building where all the androids are made, um, only to find out, um... You're not who or what you think you are. You're... Human. All the androids are actually people? Okay, I get, ugh. So they go back to the house uh, with the FBI and the FBI are immediately shot. The priest guy has gone all like a uh, Scooby-Doo villain and it's like, I would have gotten away with my plan if it wasn't for you meddling kids. So the priest is like about to shoot them, uh, but, out of the left field, Henry comes running and tackles him to the ground and starts bashing his head in with a fucking gun! After Henry has just committed homicide, he, uh, he just goes to the garden and stabs himself. So, Henry dies. We skip forward five years later with, uh, James and Sophie at a park with a child, their child, not just a child, <laughs> with their child that they made, they had sex, finally, um, and they named the kid Henry? I mean... <laughs> he often asks how he got his name. Well, Henry, you see, one day, we bought an android that your mother masturbated to and who I had him perform oral sex on and then he was actually human and then he fucking killed himself. That's who you were named after. This movie was shot in 18 days. Honestly, I'm not surprised. And that's the movie. That's, that's the, that's, that's the movie. There isn't really that much um, content in it. Like I like this movie about an hour and a half long or something like that. And maybe you know, an hour and twenty is just boring shit. And then ten minutes is fucking uh, sex dreams and blowjobs. So please like and subscribe this video if you want more. Please, please, please. If you are subscribed and you have liked this video, share it. I fucking dare you. Share it. Leave a comment. Let me know if there are any other shit movies you want me to watch and review. Because honestly, I really like doing this. Uh, <laughs> I don't have an outro. Peace. Do you get jealous of her vibrator? <laughs> I need
get that on a fucking t-shirt. <laughs>